Hey everybody, it's Brooks here, Senior Pastor, First Baptist Church of the Islands. Thank you for joining me for today's Monday Focus. So uh, this week in our message series, we're in a series called 316, and we're looking at different 316 passages in the Bible. Chapter 3, verse 16. There are 49 of them in there. We're not covering all 49 of them. Uh, but just this past Sunday, we covered a passage from Proverbs chapter 3, verse 16, and it had everything to do with wisdom. In fact, the first part of that chapter, or that section of that chapter, deals with the topic of wisdom, and that was our focus uh, in church on Sunday. And I want to talk about wisdom for just a moment because one of the things that we established there that comes right out of Scripture is the fact that, that God is the, the one who holds wisdom and He's the one who gives it. And so we have to fear Him. In fact, fearing God and um, looking to walk with Him, certainly knowing Him in relationship through Christ, is the beginning of wisdom. But as it relates to wisdom, we have a choice to make. We, we can uh, obviously know God through Jesus. We can pray for wisdom, like James tells us to do. But there's also a passage uh, in Proverbs chapter 13 that tells us something else that can help us with wisdom as well. Listen to what it says. It's in Proverbs 13, verse 20. It says, one who walks with wise people people will be wise, but a companion of fools will suffer harm. One who walks with wise people will be wise, but a companion of fools will suffer harm. That's an interesting principle there. You probably have shared that with your kids or with grandkids, or you may remember a parent sharing that with you or a teacher or a coach. In other words, it's kind of like we become a product in some ways of the people that we spend time with, the people who influence us. And what this passage is getting at is if we spend time with wise people, some of that's going to rub off on us. And in a sense, we're going to be able to experience wisdom in our lives also. Now, Proverbs reads a little differently than the rest of Scripture. It doesn't mean that everything it says there is an absolute guarantee. Proverbs is somewhat of a kind of a generality. In general, if you spend time with wise people, well, there, that wisdom is going to rub off. You're going to see what wisdom looks like, and you're going to more easily emulate it in your life as well. But if we spend our time hanging around with foolish people, people who don't honor God, people who don't care about the truth of God and His Word, people who live for themselves rather than to give honor to God, they don't want to live according to His ways or, or according to what Scripture tells us, well, those that foolishness is also going to rub off on us as well. And it really is important. I mean, your parents were right. Your grandparents were right. It is important who we spend time with and who we allow to shape us. Now, some of you may be in an environment where you can't change the fact that you're around people who don't demonstrate wisdom. Maybe it's your work environment. Maybe it's your family. Maybe you're in another environment, a campus environment or what have you, where there's not a lot of godly wisdom to be found. Well, listen, that just raises the stakes right? For you to be able to know what wisdom looks like according to God's Word, to, to pray for God to give it to you, and then to apply it in your life. You're going to be a witness. You're going to be a testimony. You're going to be a light of what wisdom looks like when life is rooted in God and His truth. And so what can you do today to surround yourself with people who are wise? Who is it you need to come alongside of? Who do you need to invite into your circle? And, and honestly, <laughs> not being judgmental, but maybe maybe you need to ask yourself who are some folks in your circle right now that are influencing you away from wisdom away from god and away from his truth and what are you going to do about that because in many ways we are the product of the people that we spend time with you walk with the wise and the odds are much higher that you're going to be able to see and understand and emulate wisdom in your life but if we hang with the foolish well don't be surprised when foolishness begins to take root in the lives that we live as well. Hope you'll focus on that today and this week. That's your Monday Focus. God bless you.